2020. Now 2020 nimesikia watu wakisema ni mwaka wa kuambiana ukweli and ni mwaka ambao hatutaki makasiriko. So ladies, before we go to our ladies conference or the women conference that we are all anticipating, there are things that I want to discuss in the women's conference. 2019 we lost a lot of ladies and young girls out of abusive relationship. And having listened to so many women who are in abusive relationship, one, I realized that one of the things that keeps us in an abusive relationship is the irrational thinking. The thinking that my partner has been telling me, you know, the negative things about me, you know, my weight, I am bad love because of my weight, I am cheating because you are like this, I am doing, and we believe that. So that is 2020. If he is cheating because of my physique, ladies, he doesn't love you. Someone who loves you will, you know, will work hard to improve you, will work hard to support you, but not to give you negativity. So ladies, do not sit there, you know, and try to console yourself. The reason he's doing this is because me as Becky, I am slim, I am fat, I am not runned, I am not like this. That is right. This is a year of telling you the truth. So the other things that we, we live in an abusive, toxic relationship is fear of unknown. So ladies, we have to be frank. Thinking about what will people say. Now, if I leave this relationship, what will other people say? Let me tell you, ladies, people will say when you are in and when you are out. So you better be rational and make a decision as quick as possible. The other lie we tell ourselves and we find ourselves in a toxic relationship is what will I do with my kids? Let me tell you, the more you stay and the more you think what will I do with my children, depression sets in. And to be frank, to be frank, you will believe there is nothing you can do. But I want to tell you the truth. There is something you can do. You know, I like, I, I love God. Because you see, the more you are in a toxic and abusive relationship, the more you remove God in your life. And you make this person who is abusing you as God. You know, the moment you make a decision, you do away with fear of what people will say. You do away with, you know, irrational thinking and start believing in yourself and then start believing with God. Once you step out, ladies, to be frank, God will hold your hand and he will show you the way. This year, we don't want to see any woman dying out of abusive relationship because we know, we know it doesn't start that day you were killed. It's, you know, it's something that progressively grows. You find yourself, you are either physically hurt or psychologically. And you live with that. And there is, ladies, I'll tell you the truth. There is nothing as difficult or dangerous when you are psychologically dead. You know, you are living and we can see you are living. But you can't think straight. You can't think rationally. So this year, we have to make a decision of loving ourselves and not taking somebody's brain and own it. We have to have our, our power back. Mm -hmm. Welcome to 2020. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, Brosom Becky. I love you all.